on today's episode. Welcome. Here are show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. So here we have my uh, little old Fluke 11 multimeter. I was going to say uh, my venerable, but um, the year on it is around about uh, 2000, so it's only 17 years old. It's a relative, relative babe. Uh, there was a time when uh, I considered this to be state of the art, so <laughs> there we go, such is life. Uh, I think if I had my way, uh, folk would still learn on those in, in schools and colleges, uh, along with learning how to use a vernier caliper. But there you go, that's just me. Now, after, oh, I don't know, say six, seven years, um, there's a fault, a very common fault that, uh, that occurs with these multimeters. And also on later versions, it happens on the LCD. Now, the LCD on here is absolutely fine. But to change the range, for example, from DC volts, which it comes on by default, to AC volts, we have to press the, the select button, which um, sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. You might get lucky. There we go. Even eventually it switches over, but um, it's by no means reliable. The little buttons down here for the range, they're fine. And uh, if you go to the range here, so these buttons are working fine. Now, I have taken this apart uh, many times and uh, fixed it for a while. And what the issue is, is uh, what's called the elastomers inside. So the we'll see when we get inside the thing, but um, essentially the switches are connected to the circuit board via little rubber elastomer strips and uh, they get uh, compressed over a time and, and, and dry out and you can jiggle around with them and uh, try packing the circuit board up a bit and that works for a while. I've even heard of people boiling them. Uh, if we're not sure what we're talking about, um, in one of my recent projects I've been using these little um, 1602A LCD panels and uh, once in a particularly schoolboy era I, I managed to fry this one and I was just about to throw it out and I looked and uh, behold um, these pink strips here are in fact uh, elastomers and in this instance they obviously connect the uh, the circuit board to the to the glass LCD but it will if they're the same size then um, we may be on to a winner. Now, to get these apart, you simply twist the little metal clips on, on the back and it comes apart like that. So you can see the, the, the contacts and those are joined by these elastomers. Uh, if we gently remove those two. Uh, if we drop the screen out. Let's see. So I've taken a little still photo. It's uh, difficult to make out, but the the, the grey um, sort of uh, stripes at the top of the of the uh, of the glass, where the glass changes colour, are in fact um, contacts that uh, are connected by the elastomer um, down to the circuit board. So the next thing to do is to get this guy apart and see if the elastomers are going to be the same size. So here we can see inside the unit and there's just the four screws to uh, to remove to get that and then the board itself is held along the sides and the top by little plastic clips that you just gently uh, lever up and then if we take a look inside you can see the uh, elastomers that I was referring to so on, on this side we can see the, the contacts for the LCD and here for the uh, for the switches and this little guy in here is the elastomer that's uh, causing us the, the problem. Uh, let's just see. We put that up against uh, one of the strips. 
out of the, uh, the the display, we can see that they are in fact the same the same height. So um, that's good news. So let's cut one of these to uh, the same length, or maybe maybe we'll just uh, take the the slot there as a guide. I think I'm not convinced that that's actually uh, completely the right size. That it is is slightly uh, slightly loose in there. So we'll get that cut and put in and um, see if that uh, solves the problem for us. So I cut the little piece off of, um, off of the elastomer and made it a little bit um, longer so it was a snug fit in that, in that slot. You'll see the old one there. And now if we, we switch on... Uh, That appears to be uh, a fix. If we flip over to the resistance range, this was always a pain because it comes up on continuity and then you can switch it there obviously to, to mega ohms. And that, these buttons still work. So there we go. Uh, I guess it is possible to buy those little elastomers um, somewhere, or eBay or, or, or whatever, but um, just a handy tip there, if you happen to trash one of those displays accidentally, um, the elastomers could come in useful at some point. I did actually take, um, it's difficult to see here, I took a still photo of, uh, of the edge of this which shows it, it's kind of rippled, so obviously over time with it being pushed against, I think this was the side that was against the uh, the contacts on the board which were fairly rough and just uh, not like the nice gold um, the nice gold connections there but um, rather rough um, um, soldered just lead uh, soldered um, connections um, so maybe that was part of the issue as well but uh, yeah very pleased with that uh, one of my easier repairs